Back on Leading Edge, she is Jane Timken. She is running for the U.S. Senate. It's the seat of Rob Portman, who chose not to seek re-election next year. You say, Jared, it's a year away, but the Republican primary in May. Hey, holidays are upcoming. This is going to go fast. So we have the big ones on our program. On positions and policy, Jane Timken, I hear largely the same answers from all of the front runners in the GOP Senate primary field. How are you going to separate yourself from the rest if you all believe and you're being honest, you all believe the same things. Sure. Well, uh, I'm not a Johnny come lately. Um, we have several people in this race who just popped their head up and said, I'm going to fight for the America first agenda and the Republican cause. That sounds like uh, J.D. Vance, but OK. I, I, I just in didn't general, mention, she didn't mention. OK. And, and, and but look, I'm the one who was the chair of the Ohio Republican Party who stood up and took on John Kasich's handpicked chair with uh, President Trump's support. Uh, I became the chair and I'm the person that put 150,000 miles plus traveling Ohio for the last five years. I'm the one that's been visiting our businesses and our families and our communities. I have a real understanding of Ohio and I'm the one that's been in this fight for Ohioans for the last five years. And so I think that distinguishes me as someone who knows Ohio, knows Ohio values, and has been listening to Ohioans. That's the kind of person people from Ohio want representing them in the U.S. Senate. And it's someone who's been in the fight and who will fight for them. That's and that, I have a proven record of doing that. And, yeah. and I also have a record of delivering results because I delivered in 2018 and again in 2020 because Ohio won by more than eight points for President Trump. And Ohioans oh, oh. like those policies of America first. You know, I think Ohioans, at least historically, and maybe this has all changed, you, have, you seek to replace Rob Portman, a consensus builder, a negotiator, a man for whom the word compromise is not a curse word. Is there any interest in any of that anymore in the Republican Party? And could you be that person? Well, first of all, I have great respect for Senator Portman. He's Me a too. true statesman, and he has done so much for Ohio and our country. Um, his battle uh, against the opioid addiction issues, um, you know, his devotion to our economy and negotiations that have resulted in real uh, growth for our country. But look, I, I'm a lawyer and I will, I've been in lots of deals and negotiations. Part of what you have to do when you go to the Senate is you want to get results for Ohioans. And so sure, there's times when we can work across the aisle and in a lot of bipartisan manners. Uh, there's lots of ways that I think Democrats and Republicans can come to the table, especially on issues that like the opioid epidemic and our major drug mm. issue that's happening in Ohio. Yeah. Um, but Look, I will not compromise my principles. Um, I will always stand up for my values, which are Ohio values. Um, and I, I think with the Democrats, uh, you know, they don't negotiate in good faith. And as I said, I'm a lawyer. They're constantly moving the goalposts. You saw it um, in recent negotiations, how they keep changing the, the parameters. And by the way, with this reconciliation bill, they just throw out numbers, but they're not really talking to the American people as to what's actually in there. And we need to have some real, if we're gonna get things done for our country, it has to be serious and not, just continue tax and spend policies, which when are Portman, when Portman announced he wasn't going to seek re-election and he didn't blame Trump, he just said it's it's the toxic atmosphere in Washington, right? And let's be honest, you weren't always out there on the wing of the party that you now endorse in court. I mean, you were a Mitt Romney delegate to for president back in 2012. What a good and decent man he seemed to be. I got to meet him inter in interview him. Are you comfortable with the where the grand old party is these days? Yeah, sure, I am. And and I got to tell you, um, Mitt Romney has disappointed me. Um, look, really? Yes. And, and, I think and he's I, a hero. I think he's a well, hero. Well, we can disagree on okay. that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but look, Donald Trump is the first president that we had that actually just said, I'm going to fight for America. I'm going to put Americans first. And it was working. We had record low unemployment. We had, you know, 
economic boom. We were, we were energy independent. Um, we were, uh, you know, respected on the world stage. We um, were investing in our military. Um, he was renegotiating trade deals that brought manufacturing back to okay. Ohio. And, and, and it, it was that. all working. So I'm, I'm all in for that agenda because it was working for this country. And that's the agenda she wants to support and push forward. She is Jane Timken running for the United States Senate, the seat now held by Rob Portman. Uh, I'm sure you'll be back in our area from time to time throughout the election. You're welcome on our show anytime. It's nice to see you. Nice to meet you and continued success to you. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to have you. When we come back, we're going to continue our profiles of city council candidates. You talk about a crowded field, 12 of them seeking six seats. We're back on Leading Edge right after this.